Marcus Ambrose is always one of those guys you can expect to be at least inside of the top 20 or top 25 most seasons. However, this was not the case in the last two seasons of his NASCAR Cup Series career. Specifically, we're going to be talking about the 2013 season. In 2012, he was coming off of a win in Watkins Glen, yet again, and he was showing some pace each each race when we can bleh, each race. But however, this changed quickly in 2013. We expected Marcus Ambrose to continue the path that he was on. However, that changed quickly. Pusha and I said, what did you fix? Whoa, he says, well, trouble, trouble on the back. Trouble on the back once again. The All nine the cars. Ambrose goes around, as does the one. Jamie McMurray, our reigning champion, Brad Keselowski, torn up. Regan Smith in the 51. Both Casey the Pinsky Kane's cars. involved. 24, we're done. And, and Daryl, I don't know who it was, but somebody changed lines. Now, so you're going to see the nine, and here he goes. But right there, he gets pushed into by... That's Carl Edwards. Carl that, Edwards, 99. 99. Car. Yeah. And because Marcus Ambrose was second in line, everyone behind him after that happens either checking up or trying to figure out the line through, and that caught up almost everyone. Let's talk about closing rate. That's exactly what oh, Stewart gets tagged and holds on behind him. They're going to pile up. Hamlin, Johnson, Bush, Martin, Gordon. And, and Tony Stewart cut down in front of uh, Matt Kenseth. I guess we're going. Got a little bit loose, but then these other guys reacted to it, and they all crashed. Right. Tony says, I'm going to get under him right here, and he just gets the clip by Mark, Marcus Ambrose just a little bit in the nine, and then these guys all react to it. Hamlin hit the brakes. His teammate, Kyle Busch, got in the back of him. That pushed him up into somebody else, and away they go. And Ooh. Mark Martin Man. almost made it through, got hit in that right rear, and shot to the outside wall. Montoya. Mm. Caution is out for the sixth time today. There's the result. Marcus Ambrose just in front of Kevin Harvick. Take a look. Trying to be clear. Shredded the left rear tire. Heavy damage on Ambrose car. Here's our extreme slow motion, our Exmo view of it. Like Harvey that is a the little bit second that. flat left rear for Ambrose today. Second caution he's brought out. Yeah. Shuffle up down the back straightaway. Ambrose gets into the side of Martin. Everybody scatters. Caution's back out and spinning down the front straightaway. Clint Boyer. Wow. Yeah, his teammate Brian Vickers has all types of damage on the right front and the left rear. Something huge went on through one and two right after that restart. And then the oh. 88 got pushed up the hill. That's where it all really started. Man, and Marcus Ambrose into the side of Brian Vickers, and then it gets uglier down here. Ambrose tries to recover, piles into Mark Martin. I think, I think Marcus in the nine may have a tire down, and it caused him to get up into Mark coming through there. And the caution's out, and the track is almost blocked on the high side from Boyd. I think I have a tire going down. Martin Truex is in. Caution for, oh boy, there goes Jeff Burton after Ambrose had trouble and Burton in the wall. I don't know if there's fluid down out there or not, but we're under caution because Burton was running in the top 10. Now there's Ambrose on fresh tires. Oh boy. Looked like there was contact between he and uh, Gilliland there. Wow, the 31 was way back yeah. there. Uh, you know what? It looks like he got on the brakes and it just locked the rear tires up or us spun out. I don't know why. Crash in turn one. Huge crash. Unbelievable crash. Kyle Busch got into the back of Casey Kane. Kane got turned into the wall as Busch tried to change lanes. And a lot of cars are really torn up. Yes, oh, some heavy hits. It's the big one. Yeah, that started happening before it got to the start-finish line. And Kyle goes down. I think it's more like Kyle went down and Kane went up. They make a little light contact right here when Kyle looks like he's getting a push from Marcus Ambrose, starts to move to the outside and catches the back of the five-car Kane and sends him, in, sends him around. You 
see Jamie McMurray, and there goes uh, the 29 of Harvick. Hamlin got hit by Ryan Vickers in of, it now. Uh, yeah. yeah, Hamlin's car. Vickers, Vickers Ruderman, the Stewart. Martin and Trex Jr. in 56 just basically all but stopped to keep from getting in it. They ain't going to make it. They got to make it six it. more no times. Oh, oh, there they go. go. There we go. There was no way. Oh, oh, he's 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 Bobby Labonte's in it, Strimmy's in it, Jeff Thornton down to the grass. Else coming from behind him. And Kurt Talk Busch through. went over and over. Boyer, McMurray. They're just, guys, I'm, I'm, I'm with Denny. And, and, you know, having been in these situations several times, there's no way you can race that way and make it. It's Kurt it Busch, starts, the black car on the bottom. I think it starts up on the outside here. Let's see. Right in here somewhere. That's Regan Smith in the middle and Yaley up top. Right here, the 51 car. Owen oh, Stenhouse squeezes to the outside. And that's Yaley and, 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 and that shoved Yaley down. And look at that 78 car upside down and then lands on top of Ryan Newman's 39 car. Bobby Labonte involved. So it was Stenhouse, the rookie, trying to go four wide on the outside, running out of room with his number 17. Yeah, and running out of time. I mean, he's, you yep. know, desperate. And, and, and you see the 36 move down just a little bit. And Yaley and, uh, and Stenhouse thought he could squeeze by on the, uh, next to the wall, and he just couldn't make it. And this kid's ugly. Watch this thing. Right on top of Ryan Newman. Hadn't Ryan Newman had cars on top of him before here? I think uh, the 2009 race. I think you're right. Brad Keselowski and Carl Edwards coming to the checkered flag. Boyer's 15 comes up, clogs the track. Both Labonte brothers involved. He finally did it. Yeah. Ambrose awful day continues. Uh, this thing, this this has had this written all over it, this whole practice. You can take the quarter mile back here down. Yeah, I'll let the backup cop. I mean, that car earlier in practice had the hospital hop, Darrell, yeah. and now well, I mean, he's, he's done. He's 18th quick. He hadn't had a decent lap all day. The car's been all over the place. He's had his hands full the whole practice. Now it's end of practice. He's trying to get a little speed out of it, and it's just not there for him. Yeah, we felt like something started smoking before the car ever got out of control or before he wrecked it. Right here, watch this. That is the axle. That's the axle coming out of the right rear there. Look like a missile going up through the hill there. This thing is, there it goes out the right rear. And then, of course, the grease comes out, and he gets it on his tires, and that's how he, uh, that's why he wrecked his car. And what holds that axle in is an aluminum hubcap that has, some of them have three bolts, some of them have four. How about Kurt Busch in that outside lane with help from David Gilmore? Oh, here we go. We, we got go. trouble. There we go. That's it. Like I said, you lead at the white. That's it. You're good to go. But they may no race to the finish. Yes, they're yep. going to let him race back here. Jimmy Johnson leading and look behind him. This is the, the first wreck after the white flag. Yeah. Carl just gets, just as we saw, just as we saw the five car of Kane get slammed and sent to the inside, Carl got slammed going the other way and got slammed into the outside wall. We got trouble on Problems straightaway. Problems again, front oh, straightaway. Ambrose. Marcus Ambrose involved and Mears. some other drivers got damage, including, as you said, Casey Mears, who had no place to go. <laughs> Second wow. caution, 14 laps in. Ambrose was running in the 20th position. Yeah, and, and Casey had nowhere to go. Marcus was in the middle of the racetrack, had most of the racetrack blocked, and Casey just... And, and there was like was three nothing. wide coming out of four, so... Here's a replay of what happened off of turn four and coming toward the start-finish line. <laughs> you see him going into turn three there. They uh, three wide for a moment, and then they get out, spread boy, back in. the nine is... Oh. Well, it looks like Harvick basically just booted him on that yeah, one. I'd, I'd say Harvick just took him out right yep. there. Uh, they got together a little bit, and as Harvick drove into him uh, and stayed into him. Yeah, you watch you right here. You can get off a guy when he's when he's getting a little bit loose, and Harvick decided he wasn't going to do that. Yeah. Oh, there's one in trouble off turn two. It's Ambrose. And around. Caution. Lock her down. Lock her down. Lock her down. You're all right. Nothing's coming here. Just lock her down. All right, bring it to the road here. We, we got, uh, I'll see that raising one. If this would make turn two the nationwide danger zone, I think. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's funny because the numbers said turn four. He's basically just losing it over there. They're not getting any help. They're just, the cars are just jumping out from under these drivers. He was trying to wheel this thing to keep it going straight without spinning, but lost that battle. 
flag pit stops coming up shortly. And they're three wide again. Oh, oh trouble. Marcus Ambrose turned in the trioval. Montoya collected. Everybody else gets through it. That's a break Kevin Harvick and Kyle Busch needed. Marcus Ambrose did an amazing job to keep driving that race car as they went off the racetrack on the apron and not hit that inside wall. I'll try to change lanes, go to the top. Oh yeah, just, wow. That's just air working right there. Montoya just a victim. Yeah, unfortunate for him, these wrong place at the wrong time. Marcus Ambrose ended the season with stats looking like this. Zero wins, one pole, zero top fives, and six top tens, an average finish of 20.7, and a dismal 22nd place points finish. This would be his second to last season as a driver in the NASCAR Sprint Cup Series, but unfortunately for Ambrose, the 2014 season wouldn't get any better. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is French Fry, signing off. Peace out, everyone.